right. Joy, I think we need to start. Oh, oh, how wonderful to see such a, a friendly face. Um, Laura, this is Joy Churcher, Ron Churcher's wife, and of course Beryl Woodvine, Len Woodvine's wife, and Eileen Turbin, John Turbin's wife, and Vicky Drury. Let me guess, Dave Drury's wife. <laughs> Um, everybody, this is our Laura Gibson, and Laura is... Rupert Gibson's mother. Yeah. He's in the under-15s. I just thought I should volunteer my services. <laughs> as an ongoing member or just as a one-off? Uh, um, as a member. Oh. Great. Oh. Right, well, there's just a few little annoying formalities to sort out. Just a couple of things. Come and have a seat. Just over here. Yeah. Now, do you think it's proper to serve a grown man low-fat milk? I didn't just see Laura going into that meeting, did I? Yes. And you didn't try and stop her? Oh, Karen, what are you thinking of? What's your attitude to peppermint tea? Do you know where I should go? Well, yes, I do, Laura. Straight home and as fast as your legs can carry you. What are you doing here? You're the one who's always told me I should get involved with the women of this community. Yes, but these women aren't here to be involved with each other. They're here to be with their men. And for some of them, it's the only chance they get, serving food and drink, while their husbands go on about the game over and over and over. I wish it were a group for women. Laura, do you know what half of these women will be thinking? She's here to steal my husband. Our new worker bee, come with me to the hive. Now, Joy here will help you find your feet. Hello. I'll be busy organising tonight's Barbie. But don't worry, I'll be popping in from time to time. Come on, let me show you the ropes. Okay. Thank you, Joy. I will initiate Laura into the intricate rituals of tea pouring. Don't let that woman into your confidence. She's one of Vicky's. She'll eat your heart raw. Now, the urn is over here. Right. And we fill it up from the tap over there. It's a little bit far, isn't it? I think I might move it closer to the tap, eh? Oi, I don't think you should do that. No, that's all right. It's no problem. It hasn't even been filled yet. It's not heavy. There we go. I knew the moment I set eyes on you, you'd be trouble. Who gave you the authority to move that urn? It, it made sense. Oh, did it? Did you even begin to consider the safety implications of what you were doing? Oh, I didn't mean to. Look, I, I was only trying to. You have nothing to be sorry for, Laura. She was perfectly within her rights, Vicky. Laura was the woman on the floor. I'm sorry, but unless there's been an election and I don't know about it, your opinion is out of order. I believe that you are the only one out of order here, Vicky Trury. Oh, am I? Well, I have two words for you, Heather Jelly. Spit roast. Dave, this is not the time, darling. Yes, it is, love. Lamb to the slaughter. Um, I'll just make this brief. Owing to pressures outside, I wish to tender. Before you go on, Vicky, we've all been talking and we now have serious doubts about the Hungy proposal. We believe that you were correct and that it would be seriously unhygienic and inappropriate. You never know what's lurking in the ground. And I would also like to apologize for the urn incident. 
it was very naive of Laura and, as we all know now, potentially life-threatening. Laura is a very lovely woman, but, well, she has no idea at all. Would it be appropriate, Madam Chair, if we were to dispense of the usual tea and cakes this evening, which are lovely, and instead open a couple of bottles of wine? Oh, that's very nice. <laughs> Can't always be about our boring husbands and their silly old football, can it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> In a moment, a look at Sea Change for next week. You can find the videos and soundtrack CD from the series at ABC Shops and Centres. Then stay with us for the Gothic.